And now, reading my favorite joke on Reddit. <clears throat> a teenage boy is getting ready to take his girlfriend to the prom. First, he goes to rent a tux, but there's a long tux line at the shop and it takes forever. Next, he has to get some flowers. So he heads over to the florist and there's a huge flower line there. He waits forever, but eventually gets the flowers. Then he heads out to rent a limo. Unfortunately, there's a large limo line at the rental office, but he's patient and gets the job done. Finally, the day of prom comes. The two are dancing happily and his girlfriend is having a great time. When the song is over, she asks him to get her some punch. So he heads over to the punch table and there's no punch line. Did you get it? I hope you got it. It's a good one. Okay. Here we go to the next time. What's a joke so stupid that it's funny? My wife accused me of acting like a flamingo, so I had to put my foot down. Soldier, I did not see you in camouflage class. Thank you, sir. What do we want? We'll find your noises. When do we want them? <laughs> Two clowns are eating a cannibal. One turns to the other and says, I think we got the joke wrong. What's the difference between ignorance and apathy? I don't know and I don't care. A sandwich walks into a bar. The bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve food here. When our granddad was 65, we told him to run a mile every day. Now he's 70, but we have no idea where he is. Where do sick boats go? The dock. I bought the world's worst thesaurus yesterday. Not only is it terrible, it's terrible! What makes a good joke timing? If you don't pay the pastor for an exorcism, do you get repossessed? The Lambdo champion walks into a bar. They're disqualified. What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bike? A tire. <laughs> what do you call a psychic midget who's escaped from prison? A small medium at large. Why didn't the lifeguard save the hippie from drowning? Because he was too far out, man. What's brown or rhymes a snoop? Dr. Dre. What's a short, clean joke that gets a laugh every time? A Mexican magician says he will disappear on the count of three. He says, uno, dos, poof. He disappeared without a trace. I have a Polish friend who's a sound technician. Oh, and a check one, too. Check one, two, check one, two. Have you heard of Murphy's Law? Yes, anything can go wrong will go wrong. What about coleslaw? No. It's a thin sliced cabbage dipped in mayonnaise and sour cream. The Secret Service just had to change protocol for when the president is in danger. Instead of yelling, get down, they have to yell, Donald Duck! Now that's just goofy. A woman walks into a library and asks if they had any books about paranoia. The librarian said, they're right behind you! The other day my wife asked me to pass her a lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still isn't talking to me. Dr. Frankenstein entered a bodybuilding contest. Upon arrival, he realized he misunderstood the objective. Want to know the last thing my grandpa said before he kicked the bucket? Wonder how far I can kick this bucket! Communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets them. Before you criticize someone, walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you do criticize them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. My friend says to me, what rhymes with orange? I said, no it doesn't. I went bobsledding the other day, killed 250 bobs. Now that's not a clean joke. Tell me a joke about potassium. Okay. I used to be addicted to soap, but now I'm clean. How do you get two whales in a car? Start in England and drive west. Instructions followed clearly. I'm in Cornwall. I ran out of lunt. I know I should have taken a left turn at Leon Fair Pavel Gingwall Gid Gidagori Kinikish Crane Rindu Erbid Luko Ante Silitu Go 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 And now, r slash jokes. How many friend zone guys does it take to change a light bulb? None! They'll just compliment and get pissed when it won't screw. I called in sick this morning on account of diarrhea. My boss told me to get my shit together. What do you call a spider with 20 eyes? Spider. A guy walking to a library and asks for a book on sea turtles. The librarian asks, "Hot back?" The guy replies, "Yeah, little heads too." The wisest men in the village could not figure out when the sun went at night, so they stayed up all night discussing it, and then it dawned on them. What is Thanos' favorite social media? Obviously, Snapchat. The son says to his father, Dad, I'm thinking about a career in organized crime. Father, government or private sector? Steve Jobs would have been a better president than Donald Trump. But I shouldn't compare apples and oranges. I got a new job today at Old McDonald's Farm. I'm gonna be the CIO. I'm 16. If you see a robbery at the Apple Store, does that make you an eyewitness? 
What do you get when you cross an onion and a donkey? Most times you get an onion with a tail, but every once in a while you get a piece of ass that brings a tear to your eye. Ladies, gents, and nuns, I have a new favorite joke on Reddit. A man is driving down the road and breaks down near a monastery. He goes to the monastery, knocks on the door, and says, My car broke down. Do you think I could stay the night? The monks graciously accept him, feed him dinner, even fix his car. As the man tries to fall asleep, he hears a very strange sound. The next morning, he asks the monk what the sound was, but they say, We can't tell you. You're not a monk. The man is disappointed, but thanks him anyway and goes about his merry way. Some years later, the same man breaks down in front of the same monastery. The monks again accept him, feed him, and again fix his car. That night, he hears the same strange noise that he's heard years later. The next morning, he asks what it is, but the monks reply, We can't tell you. You're not a monk. The man says, All right, all right, I'm dying to know. If the only way I can find out what that sound was is to become a monk, how do I become a monk? The monks reply, You must travel the earth and tell us how many blades of grass there are and the exact number of sand pebbles. When you find these numbers, you will become a monk. The man sets about his task. Some 54 years later, he returns and knocks on the doors of the monastery. He says, I have traveled the earth and found what you have asked for. There are 145,236,284,232 blades of grass and 231,281,281,219,999,129,382 sand pebbles on the earth. The monks reply, Congratulations, you are now a monk. We shall show you the way to the sound. The monks lead the man to a wooden door where the head monk says, The sound is right behind that door. The man reaches for the knob, but the door is locked. He says, Real funny, may I have the key? The monks give him the key and he opens the door. Behind the wooden door is another door made of stone. The man demands the key to the stone door. The monks give him the key and he opens it only to find a door made of ruby. He demands another key from the monks who provide it. But behind that door is another door, this one made of sapphire. So it went until the man had gone through the doors of emerald, silver, topaz, and amethyst. Finally, the monks say, this is the last key to the last door. The man is relieved to know that he has finally reached to the end. He unlocks the door, turns the knob, and behind that door, he is amazed to find the source of that strange sound. But he can't tell you what it is because you're not a monk. <laughs> oh my god, I love that joke. <laughs>